In a previous lesson, I set up an onLayoutEnter script trigger to run the view authors listing script whenever I navigate to the authors listing layout. However, while the trigger worked, it showed one of the potential gotchas of using script triggers. Triggers will be set off by scripts as well as by user actions. And in this case, under certain circumstances, the script included a step that navigated to the layout where the trigger was active, causing the trigger to fire and fire again repeatedly. There are a number of ways you could work around a problem of this kind, but I'd like to show you one that involves the use of script parameters. Script parameters can be used for many other purposes, but this is an interesting case of using them in conjunction with a script trigger to solve a classic trigger-related problem. Back in layout mode, when I choose Layouts, Layout Setup, and navigate to the Script Triggers panel, clicking on the Select button for the On Layout Enter script trigger, you'll notice that at the bottom of the Specify Script dialog, there's a field labelled Optional Script Parameter. This feature allows you to pass a value to a script that's being called. You can specify a parameter when a script is called by a button, when it's called by an event or trigger, when it's being called by another script, and so on. When you've specified a parameter to be passed to the script, you can then code the script to retrieve the parameter and either use it or act differently according to what it finds in the script parameter. Also, you can set up the parameter to be the result of a calculation by clicking on the Edit button next to the field. That brings up the Specify Calculation dialog, and the formula that will produce the result, which will be the script parameter, can be entered here. When you set up a parameter to be the result of a calculation in this way, the calculation evaluates whenever the script is called. So on each call to the script, there may be a different value being passed as the parameter. Alternatively, you can call the script using various different methods, for example using multiple different buttons on one or more layouts, and you can specify a different parameter for each button. In either case, the script may be receiving a different parameter at different times. With multiple buttons, each with a different parameter, that means that the script can effectively see which button called it, and can be coded to respond accordingly. In this case, I want the script to react only if the layout has been entered as a result of the user's actions, but not if the layout has been selected via a script. So I need to specify a parameter that will indicate to the script whether it was already in progress at the point when the trigger fired. To do that, I'll need an appropriate calculation expression. I can use the function get script name to find out what the script name of the currently running script is. And I can code the calculation to compare the result of get script name to the name of the current script, which is view authors listing. This is a calculation expression which will return true if the view authors listing script is already running when the trigger fires, and will return false when a different script is running or when there's no script running. I'll click OK. Click OK again, and once more to exit the Layout Setup dialog. So now, whenever the script is triggered, a parameter will be passed to it to tell it whether it's already the running script at the point when the layout is entered. That's a start, but in order for it to be useful, I'll also have to make a change to the script itself. So I'll bring up the Manage Scripts window. I'll open the View Authors Listing script, and I'll add an if and if sequence to the script. In this case, I want the if step to precede all the other steps in the script, so I'll drag it to the top of the script. And I'll use this if step to interrogate the script parameter that's been passed into the script by the trigger. Double clicking on the if step, I can now specify the condition or test for this if step. First of all, I can retrieve the script parameter using the function get script parameter. And now I can check whether the script parameter is true or false that is, whether the script is running already or not. In this case, the condition when I want the script steps to proceed is when the calculation that determined the script parameter returned false. So when the script parameter equals false, the script will now proceed. However, if the script parameter is true, the script will now skip to the end without doing anything. I'll save that change and dismiss the Edit Script window. While I'm in the Manage Scripts window, I'm also going to disable the checkbox that includes the view authors listing script in the script menu. Because the script is being triggered by entering the layout, I no longer need it to be available to be triggered by any other method. I'll close the Manage Scripts window 
and test the changes I've made. First of all, back to browse mode, and I'll omit a few records from the found set. We now have 12 records in the found set, and I'll navigate to the authors layout. Now I'll hold the shift key down and click on the list button. And you can see that the script has now correctly filtered the records to show only those authors who have books published by Jane Austen's publisher. And navigating back to the author's layout, if I click on the list button another time, the found set goes from 3 to 21, showing us all records in the found set. So this is a single and very useful example where a script parameter can be specified and can be used to ensure that the script behaves differently according to the circumstances when it was called. There are rather a lot of other uses for script parameters, enabling you to write a single script that can perform a variety of different operations according to the different context when it's called. However, the technique for setting up a script parameter is basically the same as you've seen in this lesson, regardless of the circumstances and also of the purposes the script will make of the parameter which it receives.